everyone so we are here at harbor freight and i'm going to see if i can get a um pumping uh unit so i can pump the gas out of the fuel tank of the charger all right everyone so uh here i do have to wear a mask uh, just because there's a, a law uh you know you have to wear a mask in the store so but we did find a siphoning kit and it was actually pretty cheap very cheap actually it came out to about seven bucks so i think that's pretty good that's pretty good i'll try it out it looks like it's gonna take forever to siphon just because it's a very small hose so but other than that do that tomorrow for the reason being that because it's already kind of late and then one it's it's pretty hot outside it's like super hot i think it's like 95 degrees but i have a feeling it's a lot hotter that what the temperature is measuring so stay tuned guys we're going to get this done this never ends kind of like stangmo said so we'll be back holy cow guys so that was very hard to get off but uh we use this humongous uh half inch ratchet and we use the tool for the gas but whoo whoo <laughs> whoa this thing kicked my butt so and it's really hot out here so Oh, it smells like really bad gas guys also hope that I don't freaking pass out from the smell so let me go ahead and go do this go ahead and put the new pump all right guys so here's the the pump and it looks horrible I mean in a horrible shape wonder this thing didn't even crank uh, at all look the other thing too is I didn't know it had a, a lot of fuel in the in the car and so it just wasn't measuring this thing was gone it's it's completely gone um, the floater is gone and as you can see here now we have another issue that I'm gonna come across and unfortunately I'm going to have to buy the pump now and check it out here's one of our issues where since the car sat for too long that isn't even connected it's over here see that plug not connected there check this out look at all the crud that was in the tank so holy cow i don't even think i'm going to be able to put uh the new pump in there kind of no point in doing so but this is what i wanted to do and find out if i needed the other pump that's on this side over here which unfortunately now i'm going to have to buy it and look at this too guys check it out <laughs> this this thing is look watch that is insane it just came right off broke right off this isn't even on there i mean the the uh, the whole oops this whole thing is just all messed up it's it's no good it's ready for the trash oops well that broke but yeah guys i mean as you can tell right there just everything it was just all messed up and like check it out this fuel tank is insanely dirty like you cannot even see down there so what i'm trying i'm starting to think now is i'm gonna have to pump this fuel out and i'm going to have to dump it out i'm gonna buy the rest of the whole part if i don't buy the whole part if this is that bad the other one has to be that bad as well so we're gonna leave it at that good morning guys and welcome back to the channel we will be going to finally install the fuel pumps on the Dodge Charger. And as you can see guys, we have the fuel pump, the one that kind of looks like an octopus, uh, which is the one that goes on, let's say you're sitting on the driver's side of the car, it goes on the right side of the, the back. So the Charger has two fuel pumps. Um, one that looks like your regular fuel pump and then the one that goes on the right, which is the octopus one, which we have here. So we're gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have already removed the one on the left side and it, it was pretty simple, but, but basically you really do need, you know, the correct tools in order to do this job, this type of job. You could do it with a punch, but I went ahead and, and you know, just kind of spent a little bit more money. And actually it was not even that much of a difference. It's, it was only a bit, but you know, I wanna go ahead and, and get the tool that you can use with the ratchet. And you all, I just wanna tell you all, that works miracles. That thing, quick, easy, no hassle. Uh, you know, just put a little bit of strength into it. 
and you'll be good to go. Like always, guys, I'm always pretty busy most of the time, uh, especially, you know, me having five kids and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, I know, yes, I did have cable. I have a lot of things going on, so bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm trying to get the content out. Okay, so uh, I'm taking this one off. I'm just, I'm going to take this part off right here. I'm going to use this tool right here. All right, guys, so we've siphoned out the fuel. Check that out. It is so dirty. So I'm going to be cleaning that out. We're going to be doing the same as well to that side. I'm going to take the pump off again, and we're just going to go ahead and empty. And There's a part of that one. So I bought a siphon, guys, a siphon kit from Harbor Freight, probably seven bucks. And we're, uh, I siphon out the fuel and we're gonna get, I'm gonna get on the other side and do the same for that, for that. We keep saying, I keep saying we. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm going to buy some, uh, some shop towels. That way I can, oh man, that poor dude, he didn't make it. He didn't make it for next year. So I'm just gonna buy some shop towels so I can clean up the tank from inside and we'll go from there. Oh, I'm liking those memes, guys. Forgot my mask. Forgot my mask. So, guys, I came out with more than I should have. Uh, but they were running a special on that. And, you know, you can always use the buckets. So, uh, we're, you know, I got that. And then what I really needed was actually those towels right there. That's what I'm going to use. Just soak up the, the gasoline and then, you know, clean up the the tank from the from the bottom. All right, y'all, so you can see there, this, uh, that's the way the fuel came out. This is what's, what it's looking like here. And uh, in there, trying to get that out of there. And so now the fuel pump on the right side that looks like an octopus will be fed in here, but it's easier said than done. And then it has to come this way to connect to this one as well. So that's what we're trying to do here. Ooh, I got the car more full of stuff. So we got a Gatorade. I got the fuel jug with some fuel and I got the, some clamps for the for the hose because what happened was that it didn't have any clamps. It, I'm not sure why the kit didn't come with any clamps. This one's on and all the ways that's left to do is connect this part. All right, there you go. Is this same one on the new one. So that's everything went as planned. Uh, got both fuel pumps out and everything went pretty smooth actually I'm, I'm very surprised you know I'm, uh, I'm again like I said you know I have the YouTube credentials <laughs> I'm just kidding but anyways yeah guys so uh, you know I, I went ahead and did it and um, I'm very surprised I'm, I'm actually very very surprised that everything went super smooth it was just basically bolt-on bolt-on so uh, right now I'm going to go get some more gas just you know, I don't want the fuel pump to mess up or something, you know, you, I mean, you just never know. So I'm just gonna get enough fuel to top off at least the, the pump and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see. Guys, it started camped, <laughs> but it's not camped. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got it turned on. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like rich, rich rebuild, or I feel like sand crack here, guys. We got the, we got the charger on. Uh, okay, here we go again to uh, out of zone. So, I mean, what I'm gonna do is going to go get a, a, a um, fuel injector cleaner and that way we can put that in there and that way it can just kind of aid the car because the car's been stopped for a while mind you so did you guys kind of hear in the beginning it sounded pretty really, like kind of bad but you know now it's already settled down the, the engine sounds quiet sounds good everything sounds good um the car staying on which is really good it does have a check engine light but what I'll be doing is I'll be getting a tool scatter. <sighs> never ends, never ends, it never ends. You always have to always be buying something or some type of tool or, you know, something broke or whatever. But anyway, guys, we have the charger on. And like I said, I just feel like, like, you know, like 
I feel I feel accomplished. I mean, I want to say one quick thing. So back then, I wouldn't work on my own cars, you know, and especially not having a dad in my life, it was it was difficult, uh, you know, because nobody shows you that kind of stuff. You know, you have your mom, and she's just kind of showing you how to clean the house, stuff like that. You know, nothing like how to fix cars and all this stuff. So, anyways, guys, I'm very very excited, and I cannot wait. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'll probably go buy some used tires. And all that good stuff and then just get the car running on the road all right guys so whenever you have issues like that with uh these uh fuel with the fuel in the car kind of stuttering there you can throw one of these in there and uh, i've got this one at auto zone so you can see there i got a new tire for this um for this for this side and we just went to go get it at a junkyard you know we, we do things like this right here because uh you know i'm not a big youtuber so you know this is this is a real the real stuff right here the real uh underdog here <laughs> no so this this tire is good on this side this one's a bit flat but i'm gonna put some air in it and that one as well it should hold air because the car you know has held the air for a while so i'm assuming these tires are you know decent um the only thing is now i just have to put the car on the insurance and i have to buy the piece that goes in there I think I've done something like that similar on on my in my father-in-law's uh, Armada. So we're we're gonna be doing that as well. But guys, <laughs> yes, I'm super excited. I, we finally got this car running. We finally have this car running, and um, you know this is the new addition to the channel. I hope you guys uh, stick around to watch it and you know kind of see the progress. There's a lot of a lot of good content with this car. There's a lot of things that I can fix. This front bumper. Um, everything 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 uh as a matter of fact when i was putting the engine back in i was thinking about going and and buying a cam for it but at that time i didn't have money for it so uh you know i just ended up putting the engine to, uh back in there but i kind of wish i had put a cam in it you know would have been pretty cool uh but yeah guys uh, so le let me just go over some stuff other stuff real quick uh it is leather interior it's kind of old, beat up though it's a little a little old um and yeah i mean it's it's still gonna need some some different tires in the back you know they're they're pretty worn either way uh it has the stock exhaust uh no the it has uh magna flows in the back in the center i think it's not uh catless i think it's still catted so um the front headlights look you know a little worn but you know all that can be good uh can be bought and all that good stuff so uh, very excited and real quick guys i know you guys i know i've had a question about it the backstory on this 67 mustang so this 67 might just be coming to the channel i know it looks beat up uh, i know i know it looks really bad like if you look at it it's like super bad it's just it's bad but believe it or not this car was running at one point and it was pretty fast it, it just it felt ugly though because it's like a literally a stripped down looking car and so the backstory is this my brother bought it and uh at that time you know he was pretty young and he just bought it just kind of not really paying too much attention to it he ended up getting a car that was rusted and you know how rust works uh there's rust in one part more than likely it's just it's like cancer you know it's just gonna spread and so that's kind of what happened with this mustang uh but before all this rust started occurring on it it looked pretty decent it looked nice it looked decent uh it's just you know being standing there for a good while it's it's taking a beating you know and and we do live close to you know ocean water so we're about an hour away somewhere somewhere around there from the ocean so you know the, it's gonna take a beating at night all the all that uh you know mist and all that stuff the dew the morning dew and all that good stuff but guys, I mean, come on. We just, we have a lot of content. I I hope you guys uh, stick around, like, share, subscribe. Um, and I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of the channel. I'm excited for everything. And mind you, like I said, again, I, I really honestly just do this for fun because I'm not even getting paid like at all for this stuff. But also I did get monetized recently, but I mean, it's not like what you guys think. It's just, it's, it's insane.